7.4 now deals with some applications. We're still solving systems, but we actually have to build the equations that we're going to work with in order to solve the system. So the first few examples deal with money, because I feel like it's a good real-world application. We deal with it all the time. So it's a little bit easier to grasp. So first example, Shelby and Donna buy much of their produce at the city farmer's market. One Saturday, Shelby bought three ears of corn and two sweet peppers for $3.20. Donna bought eight ears of corn and one sweet pepper for $4.85. We want to determine the price, one ear of corn, one sweet pepper. So we have to build a system, solve it, and we are asked to find, again, what? One ear of corn, one sweet pepper. So I'm gonna first of all assign variables to our unknowns. That should always be our first. I'm gonna let C be the corn price and P be the pepper. Kind of intuitive. But that way we can start building systems using these variables instead of writing out big long sentences. So what system are we working with? How can we build two equations? So that second line gives us good information. One Saturday, Shelby bought three ears of corn and two sweet peppers for 320. So three ears of corn, however much that totaled, and two peppers, all together was 320. Total price for Shelby's. And Donna, she bought eight ears of corn and one sweet pepper for 485. So what, what is that one gonna look like? Eight corn, one pepper, 485. Okay. So with this system, we have so many different ways that we can solve it now. We could graph it, not recommended since we have, you know, fractional units dealing with change. We could do the substitution method, but again, one of them isn't isolated, so maybe not the easiest route to go. And we also have elimination. So we're gonna kinda hit them all today. And I want to use elimination on this one. So what is gonna be the easiest variable to eliminate? C or P? So LCD between these two, bigger. LCD between these two, two. So we just have to alter the bottom equation by a factor of negative 2. And when we do that, the equivalent system, we didn't change the first one. That's still exactly the same. And now every single term down here, we need to multiply by negative 2. So what are we looking at? Negative 16c, so to the first, minus 2p equal to negative 970. All right. So now, when we add those two lines together, what's going to happen? P's are going to be gone. We'll have an equation in one variable. So I've got negative 16, and I add 3 to that, negative 13c. P's are gone. When we add these together, we're looking at negative 650. So when we go ahead and do the division, what are we left with for C? We've got negative 13 divided by negative, or excuse me, negative 650 divided by negative 13. So it's going to be positive, which is good. If we actually do that division, we're looking at 50 cents. Makes sense that it's positive. We're talking about money, those units. So yeah, we figured out one piece. What does that tell us? One ear of corn is 50 cents, but we were asked to figure out the price of one ear of corn and one sweet pepper. So how do we go back and solve for C? We can plug it into any of these that we want. They're all equivalent. Since I know that C is 50 cents, plug it in, solve for P. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into this version because P only has one unit here, so it's a little bit less work. So solving, to plug it back in, 8 times what I know C is equivalent to, 50 cents, plus a pepper, 4.85. So if we're having 8, we're left with 4, P, 
4.85. So to get P on its own, we need to subtract 4 from both sides. So the price of a pepper, we want to put the units on there, is 85 cents. And if we weren't sure if those values were actually true, if you think you made a mistake somewhere, plug it back into the original system. Make sure that it satisfies both of them. Did they really pay 485 based on these prices and what they bought? And as always with application problems, we kind of want to sum it up. So somebody who's not mathematically inclined can read the solution and know what happened in that problem. So one ear of corn of corn is 50 cents and one sweet pepper is 85 cents. Next example deals with some movie tickets. So there were 322 people at a showing of the IMAX 3D movie to the Arctic. Admission was $16.25 for adults and $12 each for children. That's outrageous, first of all. And receipts totaled all together around five grand. How many adults and how many children attended? So first thing we always want to do, figure out what are we being asked to solve for and assign variables to those unknowns. So we're asked to figure out how many adults and how many children attended. So I'm going to let A be number of adult tickets and C be the number of children. Children's tickets. Then with those variables, we can build a system be able to solve. So what do we know? What pieces of information are given? So all together, first line, there were 322 people at the showing. So that includes adults and children. So my adults and my children together totaled 322. So you automatically have one line. Adults and children together, however many attended, 322 in total. And the other piece of information that we know was the price per ticket, depending on if it was an adult or if it was a child, and in total, um, what the receipt was. So it was 1625 for every adult. So based on the number of the adults that come, if I multiply it by 1625, I get the total amount coming from the adults and the total amount coming from the children all together totaled 4,790.50. Okay, so we've got our system based off of number of people that came and the price all together based on the individual prices for the tickets. So, to go ahead and solve, I want to use the substitution method, just so we get some more practice with the different, different kinds. So, I'm going to go ahead and take that first line and solve it for one of the variables. I'm just going to go for A. So, if I want A on its own, I need to subtract C, so I'm looking at 322 minus C. And those two are equivalent, so I can substitute in wherever I see an A up here, that entire quantity, 322 minus C, since I know it's equivalent. So let's plug it in, substituting this one into there. 1625 times what I know A is equivalent to, plus children's totaled that much all together in the revenue. So now, we have an equation in one variable, all in the children's tickets. So we can go ahead and solve for C. Want to get rid of the parentheses, so we need to distribute. We're looking at 5,232.50, and 1625C, adding 12C, and the rest is unchanged. So we can combine our like terms together here. We've got negative 1625 and 12. So, this one hasn't moved yet, but if we combine those two together, we're looking at negative 4.25. And 
And based off how that's looking now, what do we want to move next? Oh, I forgot my C on there. Oop. Okay, so we combined our two C's together, gave us that value, nothing else changed. We want to go ahead and subtract that 5,000, blah, 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 from both sides. So we're looking at negative 442 when we do that is equal to negative 4.25 times the children's tickets. So we just subtracted 5,232.50 from both sides. So we want C on its own, what has to happen? Divide, divide. So C is going to be positive, negative divided by negative gives us, gives us a positive. And we're looking at 104, whole number, which is nice. So what does that tell us? Again, what did we let C be in the beginning? The number of children's tickets that were sold or the number of children that attended. So, I know 104 kids attended, so what does that mean for my adults? Which one is going to be the easiest to plug it back into? This version or the first one, doesn't really matter. But in this case, the adult is already isolated. So out of the 322 in total, if 104 of them were kids, how many were adults? Since A is 322 minus C, Number of adults was 322 minus 104, which is 218. So again, application problems, we want to sum it up. So somebody who doesn't know what's going on with the math can understand what you concluded. So 218 adults and 104 children attended the movie. And that's sufficient enough just to kind of sum up what happened. Good. So on the next page, there's one for you to try. Fast Good Foods offers a special two-in-one promotion. The price of one hamburger and two pieces of chicken is $5.39. The price of two hamburgers and one piece of chicken is $5.68. I want you to find the price of one hamburger and one piece of chicken. So what were your unknowns in that case, or assigning variables, what did you call them? You can call it whatever you want, this is just what I'm going to do. H is going to be the hamburger price, and chicken is the other one, chicken price. And again, we need to build a system that we can solve. So, price of one hamburger, two pieces of chicken, 539. One hamburger, two chickens, 539. Other special, two hamburgers and one piece of chicken is 568. So now we have a system, two variables that are involved, and we can solve however we want, however you solved is going to be great. I'm going to use the elimination method. And I'm going to get rid of H. I'm going to get rid of the hamburgers. So I'm going to multiply everything up here by negative 2. When I do that, the equivalent system coming out is going to be negative 2H minus 4C, negative 1078. And I didn't change this one. 568. So when we add those together now, since we designed one of the variables to be eliminated, get rid of it. What happens? So those are gone. We're left with negative 3c and I've got negative 510. So negative divided by negative is going to give me a positive, which is good. So chicken is what? Individual price, $1.70. But we also need the hamburger price so we can plug it back into any one of these doesn't matter which. I'm going to go for the first since H is already not necessarily isolated, but it has a coefficient 1 on the front. So we won't have to do division. So H plus 2 times what I know C is equivalent to, $1.70. That totals $5.39. So we just want to solve for H. So H is going to be 
uh, 539, and I'm going to subtract off the value 3.4, which results from here. And when we combine those, we're looking at $1.99. So again, we want to write the units on there, and we want to sum it up at the end. What were we talking about? So one hamburger, hamburger costs $1.99. And one chicken, one chicken strip, one whole chicken is only $1.70. And again, if you think you made mistakes, didn't do it correctly, plug in those values for the prices. Make sure that the combinations actually turn out to the total price that they said it was going to be. All right. So even if you solved it using the substitution, you should have come down to the same values. If you didn't, go back and double check the numbers, maybe use a calculator uh, to verify. Make sure you didn't make any mistakes.